What is happening, y'all? Cowboy here, and welcome to Steel Rising. Now, this is a new Souls-like that is dropping. Uh, big thanks to the devs for early access, so I can bring this to y'all today. Uh, and I believe this is our first clockwork steampunkish Souls-like. Uh, we've, we've seen Souls-like games in a lot of different genres. There's not one that I can recall that is steampunk, so it should be pretty interesting. Uh, I have not played the demo. I do know the game has an assist mode, which this is pretty cool for people that are like just bad at souls likes but want to play. You can increase uh, damage reduction, basically keep your souls, endurance, easy cooling. Obviously, we're not going to be playing with that. Uh, but, you know, that is cool. It's it's a cool, you know, mode to make things easier for people that want to experience these games. I know it's always a hot button topic in souls games, but honestly, I think more people that get to play the game, the better. So anyway, let's jump in and check it out. This is our puppeteer steampunk waifu with her uh, big bladed fans. Always a fun weapon archetype. Oh, pardon. You know, actually, I think I'm in no mood for games right now. How much longer are we to be kept here? We just simply watch as Paris burns from afar. The rabble are rioting. This is the price to be paid for spoiling the masses. You don't understand, Gabrielle. The king sent us here long before the city went up in flames. He knew what was about to transpire. I think he is somehow involved in these events. Oh, come now, Marie. True, he can be misguided and somewhat short-tempered at times, but he's no Nero. Then why have we been given no news for so long? Place on for Gabrielle. The children. They'll soon be out of harm's way. I am most certain of it. Monsieur Clary will take good care of them. For now, at least, we are safe. Safe? Vraiment? Where are the Chateau Guards? We are still protected. The King just preferred to use a different sort of guard. Guards or jailers? They won't even let us leave this room, Gabrielle. The king, he has lost his mind to grief. First our darling, Sophie, then our beloved son. My poor sweet angel. They didn't let me say goodbye. I wasn't even allowed to see him. C'est vrai. Something inside me is, is crying out, telling me he's still of this world at, at times. I think I hear him calling to me. I'm so afraid. What do you fear, my queen? Everything. Everything horrifies me. The king's wrath. His army of indefatigable automats that Monsieur de Vaucanson has built for him. The charlatans who advise him, who are now more powerful than ministers. What happened to my son? What will happen to the children that God has deigned to leave in my care? I won't let any harm come to them. This I promise you. But how? Do you not see that we're prisoners here? All is not lost. You forget about the one automat that is not hostile to us. This new bodyguard of yours. Ah, okay. I was wondering. I was like, how do I get made? So this is like my, oh, it's like what my automaton shell is made out of. Um, ooh, I kind of like the copper. Um, it's almost like a rose, gold. That looks wooden. Iron. Hmm, it's almost like ceramic. It kind of gives it like a near automata vibe to it. Go with ceramic. The face doesn't change. Yeah, that, that'll match. Okay. Uh, as for the wig, I kind of like that one. Short one's not bad. Oh, I think I like that one too. I feel like dolls are all about symmetry, so having the ponytail on one side, I don't think that, that works. 
do that. I like the eyeshadow on that one a lot. A lot of these look look very feminine though. And I want to go for more. Like that one looks a little more machined. This one almost has more of like a glass doll look. Let's keep we'll keep the default. Uh ooh, starting class. Bodyguard. Heavy weapons, special move block. Projectile that can temporarily immobilize an enemy. Uh, bodyguards who land the strength to withstand hits, deal heavy physical damage. Uh, durability increases health and balance, and I have extra engineering. Increases armor, effectiveness of alchemical afflictions. Heavy weapon. Uh, so that is... Looks like a shield on a hammer. Soldier. Heavy weapon, special move, ranged attack. Explosive grenade, projectile that can knock over enemy. Power and vigor. So more physical damage and impact, more endurance and critical hit damage. That sounds pretty good. Well, dancer. Light weapon with block, flame grenade, explosive grenade, petrification grenade. Explosive knock flame. Kind of resilient chain attacks together in quick succession to immobilize enemies and inflict crits or alchemist. Innovation of ice. Glass core batons. Weapon is infused with frost for a few seconds. Bows can neutralize enemy attacks. Ooh, these are these are three. Oh, here we go. And I got a uh, like in-depth stat thing. So it gives me more more durability, more engineering. I mean, soldier. It just that sounds like the straight bunga bunga. But what's the pun here? Is the impact for this is only an eighty-seven. Wow, wow. So yeah, this has this has the big. I think it's a hammer that can be used to block. And petrification grenade sounds good, but that probably won't work on bosses. And it has balance. I think that's poise. Oh, how do I want to play? Let me think. Let me think. The last... What did I do? For Elden Ring, I did mostly like a faith run, which was kind of like an ungabunga strength. It was strength, but with a little bit of faith. So, this seems like maybe the quality type build. It's a halberd, heavy weapon with a ranged attack. The fans. I don't know. Should I try? Should I? I've never actually done like a dex type build in a game before as my first playthrough. So I'm kind of curious. Like, let's let's just try it. Let's go with the fan. Let's go with the let's go with the fan. We're gonna do we're gonna do the fan and we're gonna see how it works. I'm gonna step out of my element here. This machine that is now somehow able to speak and understand what we say to it. Yes, but it is loyal to you. That's all that matters. If it managed to escape the chateau, it could be your eyes and ears in Paris. And if, perchance, the other automats were to go after it? You won't attempt anything foolish. I cannot lose you, Gabrielle. Not now. Aegis? Madame. Uh, the king must be stopped. The very kingdom is at stake. Go and find Vaucanson at his workshop. Ni les invalides. He surely holds the secret to these tireless automats. And perhaps he will know something about the death of my son. How am I to leave the chateau grounds, madame? Go to the riverbank at the far side of the grounds. From there, you can take a boat to Paris. And I really hope the fan was a good choice. What if he is the one who was responsible for this unrest? What Vaucanson has done, ma chère, only Vaucanson can undo. Okay. Let's see it's Okay. Oh, so that's dodge. 
Got jumps. Oh, here we go. Combat basics. Lock on. Heavy attack, light attack, charged heavies. Okay. I, I do some good damage. I mean, given this is just the training enemy. Ooh, that was cool. Access. Consumables with the quick access belt so you can use them at any time. Go to the inventory and assign an oil beret to the belt. These replenish. Turn to the last vestal or carriage she used. It is reusable, however, all. Okay, so that's my. Um. Oh. Single use. Okay, so I guess you. It was, it was like a starting gift. I just happened to get the grenades as a starting gift. A pretty. Whoa, that's a big old map. Very, uh, not not what I learned about the French Revolution back in high school, that's for sure. I would have been way more interested in paying attention in class if I knew it involved automatons and mechanical waifus. Can I jump over? Oh, I can. I can vault ledges. I don't think there's anything else here, so we'll just go. I feel like... Uh, this? Each weapon has an attack or a special move for the equipped weapon. Let me get hit. Okay. I want to see what kind of damage enemies were doing. Um, so this is a block. Let me test the iframes. Wow, those are big heals. Alright, the iframes look pretty good. And it looks like it's omnidirectional with... Yeah, okay. There's a weightiness to the attacks that I'm liking. Like, it's not it's not spammy at all. Like, like if I, right now I'm spamming, and you can see there's... It, it doesn't matter. There's a cadence that I attack with. Okay, we got L3 sprint by default. Oh, also, this is kind of kind of uh, off topic slightly, but the game booted up, went directly into 4K windowed locked 60 FPS, which is like how I play all my games. So I was like, oh yes, got running attacks, and it looks like dodge attacks as well. Aegis light weapons are able to inflict immobilization damage, as shown in the immobilization gauge. Okay, that little diamond. The gauge is filled. The enemy is temporarily immobilized, leaving them open to a critical hit, which is either attack by. Look like we don't get a special animation for it though. So that's the dodging attack. That's the running attack. Another dodge heavies. There are, but it looked like it like charged up. Let me see if there's running heavy attacks. Yeah, it's just a running attack, but there is the dodge heavy. Overheating and rapid cooling. Actions consume endurance. When Aegis runs out of endurance, her gears overheat. She can no longer perform the following actions. Attack, dodging, jumping, sprinting. When overheated, you could tap rapid cooling. Or trigger rapid cooling, which can instantly restore an amount of endurance depending on your timing. However, this inflicts a certain amount of frost damage as shown in the following gauge. Using it too soon after overheating will prolong the overheating. Interesting. So is this like... Is it like key pulsing from Neo? No, because it looks like. Hang on. May attack until I start overheating. I sort of go all the way down. Let me see what happens if I use it right at the top. This seems like it's going to be the core mechanic to the gameplay. Okay, so that was about half a bar. Now let me just mash Y. I want to use it right at the start. Okay, I'm mashing Y. I see. That's what it means by prolonging. It's like it, it's like it's you're trying to you're trying to choke it without enough gas in there, so it just it seizes up. So you can't mash Y. Mashing Y will just get you booped. Be 
key. That's probably where we go. Check for other stuff around here. Interesting. It's like they, they really said, we're going to teach you to not spam your buttons. Because <laughs> when you run out of stamina, it's screwed. I want to see if I can get like a sweet spot. Like if I do it the split second I overheat. Let's see what happens. As you can see how there's like separate, there's a separate bar there. There's a, you know, the big stamina bar and there's like a little, uh, just a little niche right on the end there. Notch, not a niche, a notch. Oh shit, it's really hard to time it. As soon, it's like, I think it's going to be sound based. Let me see. Let's see what happens. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I can actually like force myself to... I don't know if I can even hit it. It starts off so fast. We're looking at like a millisecond time. I'm gonna have to do it by the time when I overheat, like, sound. Okay, so I can tug. It looks like it doesn't do anything. My bar was uh, slightly, there was a pinch more of that cold debuff, but that was it. Now what was the... I already forgot, what was my special? What was the... Show my block special thing. Weapon, cooling, bishop's hook, alchemist, rab, selenite, moment, momentum. Interact. Special move, left trigger. Bum, 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 bum. I kind of like the blocking with the double fans. I don't know if it'll be any good, but find out. Side path first. I wonder if there is a airy. Not break stuff. I'm gonna try and time it exactly. Cause I don't. I mean, this doesn't make me feel like there's a parry motion. It feels like it's it's just it's a block. It says it's a block. It is strictly block. Master creates a checkpoint. Uh, upgrade attributes. Upgrade equipment. Obtain equipment. This things also serve as shops, I guess. Boutique capsule. Oh, a hundred a pop. Okay, let me get out of this. Okay, I do have two, so it's not it's not a uh, not Bloodborne style. It's like I do get a set amount. Those will always replenish. Armored fans. Can I upgrade them. to approve 1,000. I'm not even close. Ability is health. Vigor is endurance. Engineering is loot multiplier, afflictions, and armor. Elemental alchemy is going to be flame frost. Well, agility is going to be my damage and my mobilization build. And then power is going to be damage and the impact. It's so like my stagger. Module keys, weapons... Catalysts and sublimators. Ooh, shit, what was that? Wait, was that was like a sneak attack?
Checkpoint. damage there. I feel like that's the path I go though and this is going to be just like loot. Or maybe not. Going. Big chunky. Yeah, so I did I got an unintentional stealth attack earlier. Well then what's the other direction? Let's go. Wait, pause. Well, let's just die. I wanna... We haven't experienced death. I gotta figure out... Aegis is broken. Okay. Okay, so it's just standard souls rules. Everything gets dropped. charge on that. It looks like there's there's levels to it. Like I can I can release it early. It does look like I'm... Um, hang on. I feel like I'm staggering them by blocking at the last minute. It looked kind of like he, he jolted a little bit. Let me hold it. Okay, so it doesn't matter. You block it all, and they're like... They struggle bust a little bit. Did not have a hat. Oh yeah, I'm like a pirate lady now. Let's go, dude. And let's take me back to. Yes, it will. All right. Well, we know we're gonna be taking that left path. I got enough. Oh, look at that. Look at that. It turned to a gold color, presumably because I have enough to level up. That's interesting. Um. Got agility and vigor already. I mean, more vigor certainly wouldn't hurt. Critical hit multiplier goes up slightly. Um, let's get health. Let's get health. I'm at 250. Let's let's focus on let's focus on making ourselves a little tankier. Uh, so we are going to wrap things up here. I know it's not the longest first episode, but I I do want to. Uh, I want to check the audio levels, make sure everything sounds good. Um, more than likely, I'll probably have a second episode of this coming your way later today. So, either way, stay tuned. Let me know what you guys think. First part so far, it seems, uh, you know, I like the weightiness. So, we will uh, see as we continue. But thanks for tuning in, and I'll catch you all soon with more.